when um, I realised that Cliftonville had um, won the, the league for the second year in a row, I asked the, the mayor's office to host a reception for them and delighted with how many players and the, the managers and what have you have came tonight. I mean, they are such a great asset to not only Belfast, but obviously particularly to North Belfast. And they're a great community um, club. And I mean, the training they do with youngsters in the area. And they're just, we're very, very proud of them in North Belfast. You mentioned the amount of work to do with the young people in the area. Events like tonight must really help that. Of course, and, uh, and obviously to give them the recognition that the, they deserve. Because sometimes, I mean, they're out coaching the young players on Sundays and during the week, and nobody knows only the families of, of the, the youngsters. So um, they're a great asset altogether. I believe City Hall is going to be read tonight as a tribute. It is indeed. Um, us councillors in North Belfast um, asked could it be done, so apparently at 8 o'clock it's going to go red just for Cliftonville, and we're delighted for them. Uh, unreal, you know, obviously to win our first title was incredible, a great feeling of, with, the, with all the boys celebrating and all the fans and everybody in general, you know, Cliftonville's a very uh, community or oriented club, you know, everybody's like a, it's like a fan run club, so to get another one back to back was pretty special, I'll tell you, I don't think it's really sunk in yet, but it's been pretty unreal at the moment. Looking forward to Europe? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> can't wait, yes, obviously, you know, Champions League, you you watch it on TV, it's, it's, it's unreal, but to get a chance to play in it was a special moment. And does that indeed lift the standards that you all aspire to? It does, like, you know, the experience you take out of it is it's special, like, you know, we got to play Celtic or, um, um, play in front of something like 38,000 over at Parkhead was a frightening, frightening experience to, to say the least, but no, it is, it's one that it's that set us in good stead for the year and you know, you can take experience out of it. It's brilliant. I think it's a fantastic achievement for the club, I think it's a fantastic achievement for the community who have been very supportive of this club. Cliftonville, obviously, the whole name Solitude comes from the original lodge built there, and the, so it's a real big history of, of the club and a massive support in North Belfast for it. As a youth worker in North Belfast, I find that a lot of our young people now want to go out and train more. They want You see them kicking the ball about the streets a wee bit more, and it's fantastic, and they really are. I mean, these lads are, are local lads, and they're, they're about the community, and they're about, they're about Cliftonville. Yeah, well, it's unreal. Obviously, like, when it once was a bit special, but... As everyone's been saying, it takes a good team to win it once and a great team to win it twice. So it's just good to sort of like the start of a legacy and be wrote down in Cliftonville's history as legends. In terms of when you're walking down towards the club and the youngsters are all standing outside, I mean, that must be some buzz. Yeah, well, it's unreal. We actually take a, a lot of the younger teams about, like Joe coaches in Ardown and me and Connor coach them on the local schools off the Antrim Road. So just to see them all run the boot and playing football against the, the Gates of Solitude is just unreal. And it's just good to have a, such a big influence on their, their love for football. In terms of that club uh, and community crossover, how important is that actually to the club? Yeah, well, it's very important. There's a lot of players. It's like I think even all of the, all of our coaching staff have really like come through the club, play for the club as well, and went on to coach the first team. And I think Chris, even though Chris Cannell says he won't do it, I think he'll do it as well because he's such a like such a big figure in North Belfast. So it's just great that the club's like so well knitted into the community and has a big effect and like sort of draws people from in and around North Belfast, even West Belfast where I'm from, so it's just very, very important and to see when you're like when you're victorious and stuff, it has an even bigger effect when you get all the publicity and it's just great for Belfast and great for Cliftonville. In terms of your own personal uh, position, playing in Europe, must be living the dream. Yeah, well that's what I mean, we had a sort of a rough patch after the European hangover because it was such a, like a festival atmosphere about North Belfast that sadly we're coming here and we got to go to Glasgow and stuff, so it's just things you dream of as a kid, like you can't say you play in the Champions League, not every person in the world can say they play in the Champions League and let alone play in the Champions League and get to play against Parkhead at Celtic with 50,000 fans is unbelievable. I think it's hard to put into words what exactly this means for North Belfast, you know, just the, the lift that it gives um, everyone in North Belfast and the young people particularly, you know, you look there every Saturday and so many young people going to watch this team, you know. Um, they're champions, you know, their success, it gives them a reason, you know, and, and, and it shows that you can be successful. If you put your head down and you train hard and you try hard and you have a bit of dedication that you can get there and you can't put a value on that, so you can't. Uh, 
I just I just look around at the dedication, even of the players, who on Saturday after the final had all the young people on the pitch taking photographs. Um, it was just mentioned there, young Gormley, the record goal scorer. Um, on Easter Sunday, he was out with kids, training kids, showing them how to become a star like him. And, and that's, that speaks volumes, so it does. Um, the Cliftonville themselves have 260 young people playing football for them. It's, it's fantastic. And that spreads right across North Belfast and further. It gives them young people something to live for and, and something to say um, that they are playing for Cliftonville, the league champions. And then the cross-community work, the, the work that's involved in all other aspects of North Belfast and, and further afield is unbelievable. And the other thing I'd like to say about the Irish League is the Irish League has changed and, and it is getting places and there's less and less sectarianism and sometimes it does make a news for the wrong reasons but I have to hold my hand up and say I was I was really, really delighted with what Linfield done earlier on in the year by saying that they will not accept anybody singing the Billy Boys. I think that sends out a real positive message for Belfast, for Ireland and for the people to move forward and to move forward together. Martina Muller, another big night for Belfast. Well, a wonderful occasion because we're going to really have a first tonight. We're going to light up City Hall Red in honour of the Reds, in honour of Cliftonville. And they themselves have, have made another record in that they have won back-to-back -back, uh, league uh, titles uh, for, for North Belfast, for Belfast, for the oldest club in Ireland, which is Cliftonville FC. So wonderful they could come here. They just uh, lifted the title on Saturday, lifted the Gibson Cup, and they're here tonight. So we're really delighted to have them here. In terms of role models for young people in the city, do, you, do they pass the test in your eyes? Well, I suppose when we think of why cities succeed, uh, the beautiful game doing well is really part of almost every European city which does well. And I love to see our soccer teams in Belfast do very well. And these guys are, I think, exemplary role models for Belfast. But the Cliftonville Club is also a role model, a wonderful institution, deep, deep community roots, several hundred young people out uh, playing in their junior teams on a Saturday morning as well as the senior team and their behaviour, their leadership of Belfast has been something that has inspired everyone in this city and it's been rewarded now, they're going to have European football again. Last year they brought Celtic to this city, uh, this year again the sky's the limit.